According to the Southern Poverty Law Center and ACLU, the conditions at the East Mississippi Correctional Facility near Meridian are unconstitutional. Today marked the end of week two in the class action case against the Department of Corrections. WJTV's Candace Coleman was there in federal court. For over seven years, the Southern Poverty Law Center and ACLU have been investigating conditions at East Mississippi Correctional Facility. And this picture is just one of the findings. Blood-stained floors and charred doors. These are just some examples of what lawyers in Dockery versus Hall say prove the East Mississippi Correctional Facility needs improvement. The Southern Poverty Law Center filed a class action lawsuit against the Department of Corrections in 2013. They are basing their case around inappropriate use of force, denial or lack of medical and mental health care, poor use of solitary confinement and isolation, as well as nutrition and sanitation violations. I don't witness rats, snakes, uh, roaches. It's roach infested, especially in the kitchen where, you know, where the food is processed because it's so filthy. This week alone, we've had testimony after testimony of offenders not receiving their medication and being suicidal and violent as a result. We don't think it's too much to ask that when individuals are in custody that they receive the medicine that they've been prescribed. Current and former inmates testified that other inmates would set fires to get the attention of correction officers. Charlie Jones was released in 2017 after serving 12 years at EMCF. Even though they're incarcerated, they still hear me. These are the same individuals that you don't want to release back to society. So if you, you know, treat them like animals, then you're going to release an animal back to society. The private prison is operated by a Utah-based company called Management and Training Corporation. Yeah, we've heard these claims in the prisons, but no prison as much violence, as much drugs, as much unsanitary conditions, particularly as much use of solitary confinement as this private prison. SPLC attorneys expect the trial to last another three weeks. I'm told the warden of the prison and MDLC Commissioner Felicia Hall should testify next week. The Department of Corrections is not commenting on the case while it's being tried. Byron.